So, there's a new stealth fighter on the block, and it's not from the US, or China, it's Russian, and it's called the Su-75 Checkmate. Yeah, Checkmate. Bold name, right? Russia's basically saying, we're here, and we've got moves. But is this jet really a game changer, or is it just a flashy pawn dressed up as a queen? Let's break it down without making it boring. The Su-75 was first shown off in 2021 at a big air show near Moscow. And let me tell you, Russia went full theater on this one dark curtains, smoke machines, dramatic music. It felt more like the launch of a new smartphone than a fighter jet. But behind all that flair, the idea is pretty straightforward. Russia wants a cheapish, stealthy fighter jet that it can sell to other countries. And I do mean sell. That's kind of the whole point. Most fifth-generation jets these days like the US F-35 cost upwards of $80 million. Million apiece. That's before you even start paying for the maintenance, pilot training, spare parts, and the rest of it. Russia says the Su-75 will cost around $25 to $30 million. Million. That's less than half. For countries that can't afford a fleet of F-35 Zor, let's be real don't want to get tangled up in U.S. foreign policy. Strings this could be very appealing. Now, technically speaking, the Su-75 is a single-engine fighter. That makes it lighter and cheaper to maintain than its big brother, the twin-engine Su-57. Think of it as the more practical, budget-conscious sibling. It's supposed to be stealthy, with internal weapon stores to keep radar reflections low. And it's designed to carry a decent mix of missiles and bombs. Air to air... Air to ground it's got options. It's also supposed to have some AI capabilities. No, not like it's going to do your taxes or write poetry, but more like managing onboard systems, targeting threats, and helping the pilot make faster decisions. In theory, it'll be able to fly alongside drones too, acting as a sort of team leader in the air. Imagine a squad of flying robots with one human in charge kind of like the Incredibles, but with less spandex and more afterburners. Now, let's talk about the countries Russia's aiming this at. This isn't being built for the Russian Air Force. Alone it's a product. A pitch. The Su-75 is designed for export. Russia's reportedly shown it off to nations like India, Vietnam, Argentina, and the UAE. Basically, Countries that either can't buy American jets due to cost, or politics or don't want to. It's the military hardware version of we take all major credit cards. But and this is important so far. The Su-75 hasn't actually flown. At least, not officially. There's a prototype, sure. And Russia says the first flight will happen soon. But in the world of advanced fighter jets, promises are one thing. Getting a prototype into the sky Tested, fine-tuned, and ready for export that's a long, expensive road. Ask anyone involved in the F-35 program. These things are never quick. Still, the Checkmate does have some appeal. It's sleek, it's stealthy, and if it lives up to half the things it claims, it could be a pretty capable fighter especially for countries that need something modern but can't spend a fortune. Whether it can actually deliver all that at the promised price... That's the real cliffhanger. Also, there's a bit of a marketing irony here. Naming your plane checkmate is a bold move when the game hasn't even started. Imagine naming your boat unstoppable before it's left the dock. Ambitious. Absolutely. Premature? Maybe. But if the Su-75 does get off the ground and starts getting orders, it could shake up the global fighter market. It's not aiming to beat the F-35 in a dogfight. That's not the strategy. It's more like, Hey, you want a 5th gen stealth jet that doesn't bankrupt your defense budget? We've got just the thing. And in today's world, where military shopping lists are long and wallets are, not, that pitch might work. Of course, a lot can change between a prototype and production. Delays, cost overruns, political issues, it's all fair game. But if Russia can pull this off and that's still and if the Su-75 could land squarely in that sweet spot between price and performance. So, is it a checkmate moment? Not yet. 
but it's definitely an interesting opening move.